This is the beautiful Jewish community center, the Chabaras of Taipei in Taiwan. One of the most beautiful Jewish centers you will ever see. And I want to give you a tour, I want to show you around, because this is something that the entire Jewish world can be very proud of. This is the lobby of this beautiful building, and there's more Judaica artifacts here. There's a beautiful restaurant inside. But I want to point out this mosaic here on the floor, which apparently took a long time to design. It was designed by a Lebanese architect, and he spent a good year thinking about it, how to do it, and then they built it, which is remarkable. So here's the entrance to their beautiful synagogue. Come inside. All made with beautiful finishes, Moroccan ancient style of the design. Really, really special, beautiful ceiling, and just a beautiful place. And I want to show you the social hall. Come with me. On the way to the social hall, we passed the most beautiful museum of Jewish artifacts, old collections of the person who donated this building called Jeffrey, which I'll tell you more about him downstairs. But all beautiful, beautiful Judaica, as you can see, collected from all over the world. Absolutely fascinating. This is a beautiful chair of Elijah. I haven't ever seen such a nice one. And some more beautiful paintings and menorahs and Hanukkah candle, the lighting candelabras collected from all over the world, from all different types and ages. And we are entering right now the social hall. Social hall, so beautiful, so big, so warm, the colors they chose. Even the, the air conditioning is made in a beautiful design and the window is like the Taipei Chinese style. But everything with the Jewish touch, the Jewish Magen David on the top, the Jewish Magen David down below. And I've been inside the kitchen, it's a water kitchen. It has everything that a community center may need. And now let me show you downstairs. I'm very privileged to be standing next to the man. His name is Jeffrey, who instigated, commissioned, and built this beautiful center. I was speaking to Rabbi Tabib last night, and he told me, Jeffrey did everything. He put in all the effort, he designed it, he found all the amazing things. And as I saw before, all the Judaica, the old, the new, the ancient, the modern, the Sifri Torah, the Kippot, the paintings, the pictures, it's just unbelievable. So Jeffrey, thank you so much. My pleasure. Very nice to see somebody very excited for all, all our hard work here. But, uh, you know, our goal here was to make everybody come into our center feel blessed, feel the love, and be proud to, to be Jewish. We do feel it. I come from London, as you all know. We have many uh, shuls, social halls, community centers, but something like this, we don't even have in London. So, Chazaku Baruch Jeffrey. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. And uh, may, may more people from London and all over the world come and visit us. Exactly. I hope this will encourage more people to see this and inspire them to do at least as little good as what this place is doing. In the ballroom is a stunning piece of art. It's a painting from Vienna. It's one of the highlights of this entire center. And if you can see behind me, there's a depiction of Jacob, of his famous dream of the ladder going to the sky with the angels. And it says, Ve'inei Malachi Elohim Olivier Dimbo. And what's amazing, I find that this picture tells the story of this entire center. And why? Because when a a Yaakov Avinu left to go to Haran, he had nothing with him. All he had was a dream. And then he spent all those years in Haran. And in this week's parasha, which is parasha by Yishlach, we read about Yaakov coming back. And he says the following, he says, Im lavan garti v'taryag mitzvot shamarti, Rashi tells us. Garti and taryag is the same letters. That even in his hard times, he was able to keep Torah, keep mitzvot, he stood for his values. And this is really the story of this center, because I was speaking to Rabbi Tabib, who is the rabbi of this place, and he told me that for many years we dreamt of having a community center, but it was not a possibility. And then he met Jeffrey. And at the beginning, Jeffrey was reluctant to actually build the center for Chabad. He heard all different things and he said, maybe it's not suitable, maybe this is the wrong uh, community that I should join with in building a center. But then Jeffrey saw Rabbi Tabib standing on Hanukkah, talking about Judaism in a very proud way in the streets of Taipei. And he said, you know what? He thought to himself, who is gonna be a man in 50 years, in 100 years, that's actually gonna carry the torch of Judaism in a proud way? It's a person like Rabbi Tabib, it's Chabad. And that's when he decided to actually give the amount that he gave, which was a very large sum, to build this center. And this, therefore, I think is exactly like Yaakov Avinu, that he started off with nothing, 
because he stood with these values in this week's parasha, how we read that he tells Hashem he's come back now and he has riches and he has children, he has family, he has everything he needs. And the message therefore is that we should always stick to our principles, always go with what we believe in and then we will have the utmost success. Shabbat Shalom.